Number 29. A pendulum with a period of two seconds in one location where the G is this is moved to a new location where the period is now 1.99796 seconds. What is the acceleration due to gravity at this new location? All right, so this one basically mimics number 28. So check out number 28. I'm going to run through this one. Um, so here we have the period formula for a pendulum. Period of a pendulum will equal then 2 pi multiplied by the square root of the length of the pendulum divided by G. Now they tell us the period two seconds and they tell us the G value uh, that's associated with that period. So what I can do knowing those two pieces of information is I, is I can solve for the length of the pendulum, right? So essentially the, um, so why don't we do that? So the period here is gonna be two, all right? That's equal to two pi, then multiplied by square root of the length all over G, which is 9.80. So divide out the two pi from both sides, right? So it's gonna be one over pi essentially. Uh, then will be equal to square root of L over 9.8. You got to square both sides to get rid of that square root. So now we have one over pi squared, All right? That will be equal to um, L over 9.8. And then simply, you know, cross multiply the 9.8 out and look, there you go, you got your answer. So now all we got to do is plug this into the calculator. So the length here of the pendulum's arm will be 9.8 times then parenthesis one divided by pi squared Oops, squared, no, no, no. Calculator problems, one second, ladies and gentlemen. Your captain will be with you shortly. All right, so here we go. So we get a value of about, uh, so the length here is about 0 0.993. If we consider sig figs there with the 9.8. So that's going to be in terms of meters, all right? In my, in my calculations, though, that it continue, I'm going to use the exact number, all right? Um, but that would be the approximate answer considering significant figures. So now it wants us to find the acceleration due to gravity in the new location. Well, what's the same? What, what, main t what stays consistent between the pendulum that's in this gravity of 9.8 and, the, and then the pendulum that the same pendulum is gonna be placed in the new environment with a different acceleration due to gravity? Well, the thing that's going to stay the same is the length of the pendulum, right? It's the same pendulum. So basically, that's how I can make the connection between these two parts. So I'm going to have the period. Now, the new period of oscillation of this pendulum will be equal to 2 pi multiplied then by the length of that pendulum uh, divided by uh, g, the new g, that is. So basically, that tells the new period is going to be 1.99796. That's equal to 2 pi. Then multiplied by the length, which is 0.993. I'm going to take the exact value though when I calculate and then divide that by G. I'm gonna solve this for G. So first thing is we gotta divide by the two pi, right? So it's 1.99796 divided by then parenthesis two times pi. So we get a value of about 0 0.318 and that's going to equal then square root of 0 0.993 all divided by G. Square both sides to get rid of the square root. So it's 0 0.318 squared. That's gonna be equal to point 99, nine, come on, 993 nine, divided by G. Solve this thing for G, so just cross multiply the two terms, bring that out and up, bring this out and down, and look, there you go. Plug it out on into that quackulator. So let's do it. I'm gonna use all the exact values. So the exact value of the 0.993, divided then by the exact value of that thing squared. So 9.82. So here we get a value of about 9.82, okay? And this would be in meters per second squared. That would be the new gravity. And there's the answer. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe. See you next time. Take care.